Hello, everyone. I'm Colorful Artie. Welcome back to Oracle of Ages Cursed. So, we are finishing up the last dungeon of the game, the Ancient Tomb. It's a doozy of a dungeon, but a really good one. A uh, special delivery. <laughs> I hope they got what they wanted. So anyways, last time we went over to this side of the dungeon, we started collecting the slates. We need the slates in order to open the way to the boss. We have two thus far, we need four. And let the ground harden. Let us get our feet as light as the Pegasus itself. And we need to travel this way. Ow. Actually, I do not think we had to... Tr no, we did not have to travel that way. That was a complete long cut. We could have just gone down in the slate room. Whoopsies. Hidden staircase underneath this one. And we can get the boss key over there. There is still a boss key, but the main key to reach the boss are the four slates. Ooh, thank you! Keys do have hearts, after all. Make sure you do that- oh wait, actually. Hang on a second. Yep. <laughs> this is where- oh, that's right, this room's nasty. Gotta destroy all the tiles! Not doing anything. Watch out for the green ones, they are very fast. <laughs> and much like the mermaid's cave, we get the wall that opens up if we push the switch. Just a lot of nice throwbacks to the other dungeons. Oh, yuck. Wait, I have sword beams. <laughs> Go up here, get ourselves the third slate. Get ourselves the gaseous seed, and we need to get out of there. And we are actually approaching the end of the dungeon already. That was much faster than I expected. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Not the candles. Candles are so annoying. Darn it! Duh. Candles? Four candles in one room? Bad. Four candles in one room with. Uh, that's entirely made out of ice? Really bad. Let's put in the slates. Yeah, we can just shortcut our way back, which is nice. Candles are some of the most obnoxious enemies in the game, despite their incredibly simple AI. They 
They never ever appeared in Oracle of Seasons, which is very nice. Die, 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 die! Die, 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 die. Thank you for dying. And this is where the dungeon gets like Jabu Jabu's belly, with the underwater sections. Hey, Mr. Owl! Are you gonna tell me how many licks it takes to get to the center of the Tootsie Pop? Paths open when ancient words are mastered. Yeah, I, I knew that already. Thank you, though. Boop, 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 boop. This is where the currents get really, really annoying. One slip up and it's over. I cannot believe I did that. Also, secret area back here. It's the final slate! We are making great progress. On to the boss! Create ourselves a nice staircase in case we ever want to go back to that horrible watery nightmare. I can't believe I got through the current room in one go. That like never happens. Last slate! And one of the slates turns into a staircase. in the background there, it's so ominous. Make sure you pick up the stuff there. You might need it for the boss. Alright. Time for the boss. He's a very interesting boss. Welcome to Ramrock, boss of the 8th dungeon. So, basically his hands are gonna go around and try to hit you, just hit the hands right back at him. It's that simple. After you hit him three times, his hand disappears and he gets new ones. And this time you need to throw a bomb in between them so he can he'll grab onto them. This is a really cool boss, because of how many items you have to use against him. And there he gets rid of those, now he gets shield hands. So get out your seed shooter. Ricochet them into the back, oh my! I forgot he did that, he's taking a- he's taking a lesson out from Medusa Head! Ah, oh no! Ow! Okay, I did not expect to die against Ramrock. Not at all. Round two against Ramrock. Really, why is his first form giving me so much trouble? Why would that not ricochet against him? There we go. This does not bode well.
Ramrock, uh, where are you going? Alright, seed shooter time. Too early. Ow! Why is Ramrock being so annoying? Alright, Ramrock, you should not be this annoying. Take that. He moves in like an arcing manner for the most part, in this form at least. Which is kind of weird. Oh, come on! He looks friendly enough, but apparently he can kill me very easily. There we go. Really? I do not believe that. It's his last form, which is supposed to be the most dangerous one. This is supposed to be his easy form. There we go. Get out the power gloves. Wait for him to launch one of his fists. Grab the other one, pull it back. And blam. Grab on, please. Gotta pull it all the way back. Oh, really? I thought it was two hits and he's dead. There we go. Bye, Rimrock. And we get the Falling Star, an essence of time. The eternal light of this heavenly body acts as guide to the other essences. I feel like the essences of time don't really make sense. At least the ess essences of nature definitely made sense. Thank you, Artie! You've gathered all the essences of time! Now I can create something that will aid you, Artie! Please visit me after you've grown up. I'll wait for you no matter how long. Uh, cool, thanks. Alright, so you'll know that this, there were also those blue sta- Oh, pfft. That was too close. There are these blue statues in this maze area. Get this chest. Oh, it, it contains a ring. Oh, big deal. Oh, it is a big deal. Not that I'll get to use it, but... Warp to Zora Village as well. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Okay, we've got a ton of rings that we need to appraise. Honestly, I'm not really sure why I'm bothering to plant Gasha Seeds at this point, because we're at the end of the game now. 
Not at the end of the Let's Play, we still have a few episodes left, because we need to do the final dungeon, uh, do the final boss, do the bonus dungeon, and then do the bonus bosses. <laughs> Alright, yeah, in here... Now that we've got the power gloves... Yet another rain. Alright. Now we're gonna go back to South Lina, get our rains appraised. find some HP, because that heart painting noise is annoying. Hi, lady. Yay! Basu, I've got a lot of stuff to for you to appraise. The Green Rock Rain, half damage from traps. I didn't have that one? Power Rain level 2, sword damage goes way up, but damage taken also goes way up. It's the Protection Rain, damage taken is always one heart. That's really useful against insanely powerful creatures, but it's terrible otherwise. Pegasus Rain, this is only in the linked uh, Ages playthrough. Lengthens the Pegasus Seed effect. Here, it's the double-edged rain. Sword damage goes up, but you get hurt. Why would anyone equip that? The blue rain! This is the one in the Sea of No Return maze that was underneath the uh, statue. Damage taken is halved. That's really good. The whimsical rain. Sword damage goes down, but it's sometimes deadly. And the blue luck rain. Half damage from beams. Yeah. Of course, the rain I choose to wear is the Cursed Rain, but that's my decision. Anyways, let's go to the Meku Tree. Artie! You've collected all eight essences of time and know their power. Thanks to you, time flows true in me again, and I remember all I had forgotten. I'm the guardian of Nehru, Oracle of Ages, and my Meku Seed can be used only by a hero who knows the powers of the essences of time. The hero who knows the essences of time sees unwavering truth across time and space. If you can do this, Artie, then you can stop Varan. Take this! And we got a huge Meku Seed! This should penetrate evil forces, somehow. Eheheheheh, <laughs> Artie! Artie, your struggles seem fruitless! Are you guys again? This world is ours to manipulate. No matter how much you struggle, the dark rites will begin soon. And these lasses are mere bugs. Bugs before a fire. Oh -hoo -hoo -hoo. Did I say lasses? I meant losses. <laughs> how did Zelda go back in time? Where? Well, my dad turned to stone! I know it's hard, but don't give up. If you maintain hope, I'm sure your father will play with you like he used to. Remember our name as if it were sorrow, the name of Twin Rova! Ho 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 ho! The Evil King's revival begins! Ho 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 ho! Artie, I shouldn't say this, but a world of sorrow is a world doomed! You must stop Queen Ambie at the Black Tower and cast down Varan, please! We will do just that. In the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie, and hey, where did Rome go? He's over here. With your help, I shall be a great hero. Here, I give you this in thanks. We get a hundred rupees. I will continue my training. Well, thank you. What a good guy. Anyways, as I was saying, I hope to see you next episode. It might be the last official episode of the series. Anyways, have a great day. And God bless.